Pastitious fish. Hey. Is there a big difference between Ubuntu and Mint? Ubuntu is based on. Uh, this, I, I, I got to be careful that this doesn't seem too confusing. We got Linux. Okay, Linux is a kernel. And then we've got Debian is a distribution of Linux. So Linux powers Debian. And then Debian powers Ubuntu. So we've got now we're at th third step. And then Mint is powered by Ubuntu. So it goes Linux, Debian, Ubuntu, Mint. They're all related. One powers the next. So Mint is affected by changes in Ubuntu. So that's why the release cycle is going to be fairly similar in that when a new version of Ubuntu comes out, they start cramming to get a new version of Mint out. And that's why a lot of the, the changes uh, start to uh, take effect in Mint that have already been implemented in Ubuntu. Um, but the products themselves are slightly different. It's a different package list, uh, different applications that are included because the program developer for, for Mint has decided, okay, well, I don't want all these apps, but I do want these ones. And uh, so there's, it's really a, a matter of choice between, pardon me, between the two. So. So they're similar, but different. But that's the thing about Linux, is it's like, it's really, I mean, you hear people say that it's the flavors of Linux, and it really is like that. It's like walking into a, a great big ice cream store, and they have every flavor under the sun, and you don't know what's what. They all look like chocolate ice cream with chunks of chocolate in them. But, you, you know, you taste them, and it's like, oh, well, this one's got some kind of maple, or this one's got, you know, something else, and it's, it's just the flavors of Linux. They're all very, very similar, because they're all powered by Linux. They all start with Linux, and then from there it goes down to different, uh, you know, to, to, you know, what kind of flavor is it from there? You got the distributions, you got the, the flavors of Linux. So I hope that that kind of makes a little bit of sense. So the reason that Ubuntu is one of the more popular ones of all the versions of Linux out there, for one, a lot of people like Debian-based Linux operating systems. And there are other uh, other products to base your Linux on as well. There's there's Fedora, like Red Hat. There's uh, there's um, Mepis and all the different. You know, there's just so many different things. And as soon as I start saying things, and then we get into BSD and stuff. Uh, as soon as I start naming off some, the people will say, "Well, why didn't you mention this one?" And so I'll be careful of that. But a lot of people like that it's based on Debian, and they've done a really good job because the people who created uh, Ubuntu are a commercial support company. So. Uh, so it is actually uh, being developed actively by uh, people who are paid to do so, uh, largely. I mean, it's also community-driven. There's a lot of people who volunteer time to the, to the project, and, uh, but there, the company itself, Canonical, is, is a, an actual company that supports it, so it's commercially supported Linux. Um, so it gets the repeat, you know, every six months there's a brand new version uh, that has all the greatest uh, features of Linux all kind of integrated in. So then you see what comes from that is that a lot of peop a lot of other uh, distributions come out that are based on Ubuntu because then anything that's based on that, so this is Mint, it's based on Ubuntu, so it then benefits from that commercial uh, support that Ubuntu has.